Hello my beautiful people, welcome to Gloria's Ventures. This is Gloria here. So today guys, I'm going to answer a few questions that I got from a video that I made some few months back on how to treat arthritis and joint pains using avocado seeds. So without any further ado, let's get to it. After I posted this video on how to treat arthritis and joint pains, a lot of people tried it and it worked for them and I'm so excited and I hope we'll keep on sharing this video so that we can reach a lot of people, especially those who have trouble with joint pains and arthritis. So most people wanted to know the amount of castor oil, grated avocado seed and alcohol that I use in this home remedy. So at the end of this video, I will do a demonstration for you guys to show you how much of these uh, ingredients I put in this home remedy. So keep on watching. So the first question is, what is the shelf life of this home remedy? And my answer is, this home remedy has got a long shelf life. It doesn't go bad although we use fresh avocado seed to make this uh, home remedy the alcohol we use is going to work as a preservative so it will never go bad so someone wanted to know if they can use avocado flesh to make this home remedy and the answer is no you cannot use the avocado flesh to make this tincture because the health benefits that we want for this tincture is gotten from the avocado seed. Maybe you can use the avocado flesh to make a face mask or a hair mask. Someone also wanted to know if they can keep this home remedy in the fridge. And the answer is no. This uh, tincture doesn't need, doesn't need refrigeration, but you can only keep it away from the reach of children because if taken uh, orally, it is very, very toxic. So someone said, why castor oil and not any other type of oil? And my answer is, castor oil has got a lot of health benefits. Castor oil on its own can reduce um, joint pains. It can be used to detoxify your liver or to detoxify your kidneys. Castor oil can reduce inflammation. So when castor oil is used together with avocado seed, it can do wonders. And someone asked if I used dried and baked seeds and the answer is no, I used fresh seeds. And if we bake these seeds, we will lose some of the nutrients. The next question is, can I mix all the ingredients together? And the answer is yes, you can mix all the ingredients together, but this method wastes castor oil. Because after sieving, some of the castor oil will remain in the avocado chaff. So I suggest you mix the uh, grated avocado with alcohol, then you will add the castor oil later. Someone wanted to know if you can use something else in place of rubbing alcohol. And my suggestion is you mix the two ingredients, that is castor oil and grated avocado seed. And when you apply this, the castor oil, on the affected area you massage it in very well then you apply heat using a hot water bottle or a towel this is the grated avocado seed that we are going to use to make our tincture So I'm going to fill the jar halfway with the grated avocado seed.
So the next step is to add alcohol to the grated avocado seeds. So I just added enough alcohol to cover the grated avocado seed. Nothing more, nothing less, but just enough. So now we are going to measure our tincture for every two cups of avocado solution we are going to add one cup of castor oil After mixing your tincture, you can put it in a spray bottle or you can use a cotton ball to apply your tincture on the affected area. That is all I have for you today guys. I hope I have answered all your questions. Share your thoughts in the comment section and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. For more content like this subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy. Bye.